This is the What's Your Poblano huh, <laughs> Carne Asada Burgers. So carne asada is marinated flank steak, and you usually enjoy it sliced and turned into tacos. Um, the What's Your Poblanos on top are going to be charred poblanos stirred together raja style in a not sour cream sauce, but in a sauce we're going to make out of combining avocado with Mexican crema or sour cream. For every six patties, six big burgers you're going to marinate and grill. You're going to have two and a half pounds of ground sirloin, 80-20%, 80% lean. To this, I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons each of ground cumin, Mexican oregano, and pimenton or smoked sweet paprika. Salt and pepper, of course. I like coarse black pepper, and kosher salt makes a great crust on meat. And then we're going to add, let me grab a food mover. Then we're going to add finely chopped scallions or spring onions. We're going to take a large plastic food storage bag so we don't dirty the bowl. Add the zest and juice of a lime. Then we're going to add some garlic to our marinade as well. And then I bring home chipotle and adobo, which is uh, dried, smoked chili peppers in vinegar and spices. So I'm gonna take a little of that puree and put two tablespoons for two and a half pounds of meat again, is what we're doing. Two tablespoons of uh, puree, two tablespoons of tamari. Here today, gone tamari. <laughs> two tablespoons of Worcestershire and two tablespoons of olive, vegetable, or canola oil. Mix this all together, put your patties in it, and let them set for one hour or up to overnight. That's these guys. These fellas have been waiting for their turn. Now you're gonna get your grill nice and hot. Take your tongs. Oh God, if we don't have tongs, I'm gonna use my hands. <laughs> Okay, then you get these guys going on your grill. Once we flip them, we're gonna add our cheese and they will be the most tasty marinated cheeseburger you ever had in your life. Now for the salsa verde, you can of course just use store-bought right out of a jar. There's many, many, many terrific brands out there. If you wanna make your own, it's super simple. All you do, let me see if this is cool enough, it is to handle, is take some tomatillos, about two pounds for a quart of salsa, tomatillos, one charred onion, two jalapenos, throw them on the grill on high with the lid down, under a broiler on high until they blister or burst, um, or even right on your uh, gas top stove in a big old cast iron skillet till they char all over. You just want the tomatillos to get soft um, and just get the onions going in the right direction. You don't have to kill them. They don't have to go till they're like, you know, caramelized. You're gonna add the juice of two limes, two fat cloves of garlic, a handful of cilantro, salt, cumin. Balance the heat of the chilies with a little drizzle of agave or honey. We're going to add some American cheese and some pepper jack. So double cheese cheeseburger. It's been marinated. These suckers are gonna be illegally good. For our crema, we're gonna put a little bit of crema into our food processor with one ripe avocado. You know me, I put garlic in everything. Boop, garlic, little salt, over the shoulder for luck, and throw a lid on her. Go, go, go. We are going to put a little bit of lettuce and instead of tomato, tomatillo salsa and onion on the bottom. We've got lettuce to guard against the bun from soaking out all of the liquid and flavor from our salsa. Then we've got our tomatillo, charred tomatillo salsa verde. So instead of lettuce, tomato, and onion, lettuce, tomatillo, and onion. These are quick pickled red onions with just lime juice, salt, and pepper. And then we're gonna top that with our double cheese cheeseburger. And then we're gonna top that with our uh, avocado cream peppers. And then our bun top, almost too cute to put a lid on. How does that stack? <laughs>